Hi everybody, it's Nadia Ro and I'm bringing to you my makeup collection and when I say makeup collection it is literally what I've had over years so um, so guys please don't judge I am new to YouTube and I've got, I've got a lot of makeup I know I have but that's that's my that's what I want you know I bring hauls out bring things like that so hopefully um, the way it's going to work is basically I'm going to bring like my lipsticks, my blushes and bronzers, my highlights, my in separate orders. Um, and then once that's probably done, I'll probably be doing like a declutter series if anybody's interested in that. Um, so yeah, and this will be the only intro on every single one of them um, because I... I don't want to be recording a new one every time I do a oh well now I've done this and now I've done that guys so hopefully you enjoy if so then hit that thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so anyway this is my makeup collection hi everybody I'm back with my blush drawer now this is a bit of a mess I've tried everything to sort it out but it's just not having it so I will I don't know I keep keep sorting it out and then pulling it back I'll just bring them out because it'll be easier for you to see so um, I've got a physician formula one I love this I love 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 this it's really nice and I like it when they're all together so it's just a really nice pale pink there's no shimmer technically maybe a little bit but I love these ones from the revolution because you I think they're like six eight pound and you get eight so it's technically a pound a pan and she says that she tries to put some on. They're so soft as well. I'm going to take this one out because I've got another one in there. And they just are beautiful. So that's just like three. Then this one is another blush palette. But this is in Hot Spurs. So this is more of a coral coloured one. And again, I'll just do a few swatches for you there you go so you can see that they're pretty nice and I don't know how I'm going to do this now there's one orange one and there's another and then there's another so they are all pretty nice colours but you also get the shimmers with them which is really really nice then I've got the Benefit uh, one from a couple of years ago Nah, I'm not being funny. I haven't really used this. I've used it a few times, but Not as much as my new box, which is really strange so Then I've got some Kiko blushes. These are gorgeous these are like triple and You know you can take the top bit for as a pinky because literally I took a little bit highlight or you swirl them all together and then you get a nice shimmery pink or a nice coral one so they're really really nice and stunning um, I've not used that um, I've not used my Becca highlighting one it's just sat there um my number sevens i really really like um so they're just stunning they really are so but this this one here is more of a it is a blush 
but it's obviously more of a like glistening it's got the obviously the glitter in it so and then I've got the ones that I got from Miss A I still like them Kiko these ones are this these ones are gorgeous I do like these oh so that is one of them it is beautiful it really is it's just a stunning colour so obviously when you swatch them that's not what you get on your face I've also got this that you can use like as a highlighter or blusher or even a bronzer topper I've got the NARS orgasm and I've got the this Kiku one I don't know if I think it's the same yeah that, them two are the same don't ask me why I've got two the same I absolutely love this really do it is the cream one and I have used it in a tutorial before and it's stunning because obviously that's not how you'd put it on you'd sort of blend it and it blends beautifully really really does I've got another Kiko one here and again I'm running out of room again that's what the Kiko one looks like they are really stunning all of them are um, I have got a Milani one which we all know and love um, these are the Instaglow ones from Miss Sporty I've got a couple of them um, this hourglass one is like a, another coral colour but it's got a sheen to it so and then I've got elf one but I don't I haven't undone this one because it's again it's a loose powder and I don't really like loose powders um, this one from Bare Minerals I haven't technically used it because it's quite dark so I'm thinking of winter time and it is stunning really is um this is why this draws a mess because there's no organization and then i my other one um this is the elizabeth arden radiant glow and beautiful packaging i really didn't realize how dark it was so and it might not yeah it does <laughs> and it's but it's beautiful really is beautiful so so they are all of my blushes apart from the new cheap parade obviously um and they just stay in my drawer bronze drawer and yeah you've seen the lipsticks on this side before so but yeah. i had to swap round because the drawer that the bronzers was in it crushed me i heart one and i love this it is glimmery don't get me wrong guys but it is stunning it is a stunning bronzer um these are still all in the package yes i've used them but these will be in a review before and they're all quite similar in tone so this is a Kiko one very similar to the other one but this is actually a bronzer and again well I still can't decide because to me that looks like just says face powder on it but it's in this drawer anyway um, I've got Elf, that's more of a contour colour. I love these trios from Makeup Revolution. And you get the bronzer, the highlighter and a brush. So, and that highlighter is beautiful. But they're a couple of quid. So, 
this is also a foundation but i was like it's slightly too dark for me but i'd be able to use it as a bronzer so that's beautiful just just there guys so i just don't like being mineral packaged because it gets dirty very quickly so so that's another one then i've got like that's really like that's a really light freedom one i've got another contour stick the sculptor for chiseling out your face i have got the kevin aquan the matte bronzing veil and this is beautiful it's a nice warm tone i think i'm saying that right i could be totally wrong but but it's there uh, it is stunning on me i love it really do um they go back in the boxes for a while till i get bored of taking things out of boxes um but at the moment i can live with just putting a bronzer back in a box so um i've got some the l'oreal ones there's another l'oreal one again you, can't, you really can't go wrong with L'Oreal so um, I've got two of them so I've got Smolder and Golden Heart in them I've also got the bronzer from High Definition so again this is very similar package to the NARS as in it marks dead easier so and they, if you look at them, they're all quite quite the same tones. This is like a glitter bronzer, and it's really nice, really really nice on on you. I love this for my sculpting when I do my cheekbones. This is a makeup revolution bronzer. It says blush, but I put it in there because it's it's more of a bronzing one it's coming off quite light in there but it's not so so there's the three swatches um then i've got these two massive glimmer compacts this one is in sun kissed and oh dark and medium sorry so but these these are gorgeous in the summer on top of your bronzer because they really do so i'll put it there it's quite uh i don't know if you're gonna see it it's glittery anyway so um I've got an Avon one. I've had this for years and I still use it. It is the Avon Arabian Glow. And you can tell I've had it years because of the thingy. But it's gorgeous. It really is nice. So I think before I got into doing my YouTube channel, this, any of the Avon ones are the ones that I use as a stable because they're just they were just such nice tones and suited my skin um i haven't had this out this is the kiko silk pearl illuminating bronzer but it's absolutely gorgeous it really is i have used it but the way that i use it is just totally different this was um this is a stack and obviously you get a white one a cream one and it just goes down in darkness so and then you've got a sponge at the bottom not not that you need a sponge for the bottom but so i've got the boing and it's in the o3 
and then I've also got the tart sculpting one and this is amazing guys absolutely amazing and again it's kept in its packets because I'm sad so it's been used I love to to mix these two colors together but when I get it out oh look see this is what I do in makeup if it's dirty I actually clean it up because I don't like to see it it has got a dark one for contouring but that one is way too dark for my skin um, and you get a blush and a highlight and a highlight so let me try and find fingers that haven't been used so there are three and generally I don't use the blushing them though but look at that highlight guys that's just they are really really nice um, I've got some Avon ones here brand new I've never used them I think the orange is what put me off um, to use that one and oh that's a blush but I'll show you anyway because it's in the same one this is a blush and it's really pretty and I actually forgot I got this because it's in here it is gorgeous that's going in mine other drawer um, Kiko again I don't know what the pink bit is for but I just swirl it together and then what I do afterwards is I have to take that to its pinkness don't ask me why because I'm sad but it is stunning it's a really nice light illuminating colour I've got an Avon like it's not a shimmer brick but it is a bronzing brick with shimmering it's not as shimmery as what you think and it's like look that doesn't even look like I've touched it so this one is quite dark as you can see on my knuckles um so yeah basically I've got Rimmel oh my lids fell off my Rimmel one and again it's been used but I just I have to wipe the circle miss beauty this one is absolutely gorgeous i don't know what i've done oh the body shop one now nah. if you watch my body shop one which i'll actually link up above at some point in this video and you will see i do actually like this bronzer i think it was the only thing that i actually liked uh this elf bronzer is really nice and this is called something but the mirrors fallen out of it which is not too much so but it's it is a little bit rough in texture and actually I think that's more of a blusher it could be a blusher actually but it's really nice yeah it's definitely a blusher and then I just just opened this Smashbox contour one and I love it it's really nice and you just can't fault I can't fault anything that I've got in my drawers I haven't tried the bare mineral ones again it's loose powder I don't and Hula the quickie contour stick I haven't tried yet so that might come in a video at some point so yeah oh and I've got this one as well which is the bronzing mineral veil but I haven't opened it I haven't used it at all so I just I think I've got enough bronzers to last me a lifetime so you know oh this was my very first light contour set and I loved it as you can tell it was truly loved I love this shade and this is gorgeous for contouring that was a lovely for bronzing so so it's still in here 
really it wants to be taken out so so guys that is the end of my blusher and bronzer um collection if you want i'll also link the my top fives because that's the nars one that's quite f not famous but um, yeah the laguna that one if you're a youtuber or you this is amazing it really is it's a cream bronzer and it is absolutely stunning i love that one to bits so i've even said in my video if somebody says to take all of them away which one would you have i'd have the chanel by far any others no so and this one is so pretty so so pretty love that um and i love the bronzer it's quite a dark looking bronzer but it's not when it comes off it's just a normal color bronzer so so yes yeah, so guys this is my bronzers and i know i'm a bit of a freak but they all get used and the ones that aren't used will get used because i just i come to this drawer when i'm doing a new makeup so i know what i've used in makeup tutorials so i would never come to you guys and go oh well i've used this i have used it in my private life but like this bare minerals i've never used it on camera so for me in fact i've never used this actually but if i'd use this before i'd tell you and say i have wore this before i do know it's nice but i'm it's it's new on my channel so because you know you can't everything that you buy there's no way i'd be able to use all of these you know i don't do i do enough videos but i don't do enough like makeup tutorials for you guys to get to see everything i've got so but at least this way you've now seen my bronzers and blushes so hopefully you enjoyed this if you did um and you want to see more because obviously once i've filmed everything um then i'll probably be doing a declutter of things that i don't need anymore so um if you want to see any more of these give us a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye it's really strange waving this way bye